Do you take this man? Do you take this woman? To, to be your lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For, for better, better or for worse. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until distance do us part. Until the white man do part us. Black love is defined as an intense feeling of affection between two people of African descent. Suspected to be non-existent due to the faulty perception of black families in society. The original family, ones from which all life was created or evolved. A committed partnership composed of love, trust, loyalty, laughter, prayer, and support. Synonyms, caring, deep affection for, adore, passion. Today, I went to see Fani. He's in jail. Uh, you know, his real name is Alonzo, and you would think that it would make more sense for us to call him Lonnie, but no. <laughs> I mean, we have always called him Fani. But I still call him Alonzo when I have to break down some real heavy shit. Alonzo? We're gonna have a baby. You sure? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. On today's show, we ask couples what black love means to them. And their answers will move you. America has always been anti-black love. In her 2017 book, Bound in Wedlock, Slave and Free Black Marriage in the 19th Century, Princeton professor Dr. Tara Hunter examines the long-lasting ramifications of slavery on the development of love and marriage in the African-American community. She explains that slaves were ripped from their original spouses, forced into arranged marriages, and had to watch their loved ones be raped by their masters. Then, in the era of black codes, state laws were passed making it more difficult for married black men and women to find jobs, for married black couples to buy homes, and for these arranged slave marriages to ever divorce. And yet, black love persists. Mm -hmm. Through the poetry, A Slave's Love by Savannah Blue. The prose, A Royal Wedding Sermon by Bishop Michael Kerr. The drama, Beauty and the Beast, an episode from Martin by John Bowman, and A Field Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. And news articles from the Huffington Post, Essence, and Poetically Illustrated. We still love us. Because black-on-black -black love still exists through high incarceration rates, high poverty rates, and a fear for our lives. Because the media, movies, television, history, and reality refuses to give us a happy ending. Because the cards of love have forever been stacked against us. But the definition of black love is and always has been to persevere. Together. I love George. <laughs> I love them when we shackle together. And I love them when they can free us. Oh, his huckleberry skin must have been perfectly picked by God's merciful fingers. Oh, and his loving gaze was deeper than the lashes on his back. Martin, how dare you embarrass me like that on the radio today? <laughs> Yo, babe, I know you're not mad. That's just how my boss does it. Y'all don't mean nothing by it. You know what, Martin? I'm done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe it. You mad over something I said on the radio? No, because of what you said about me on the radio. Damn it, Gina, now I'm mad. This is childish. <laughs> Come on. You know what? I don't even know why you're still here. Leave. I'm a man. Go on, Gina. Step. Step. <laughs> You're not ever gonna disrespect me like that on the radio again? No, 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 never. I love you. I love you too. Oh, girl, oh my goodness. I thought you was gonna leave. I can't have that, girl. You got that good stuff. <laughs> Many, Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can floods drown <laughs> it out. Love is the only way. There's power in love. Don't underestimate it. There's power. There's power in, in love. love. And if you don't believe me, think about the first time you fell in love. You and your beloved was the center of your world. But mama said he ain't no good. Ain't nothing good come from those fields. 
She say, I ought to not love something so black. But I says to her spirit, who's you rather me love? Black love literally shouldn't exist in America, in any form. Familial, heterosexual, trans, queer, communal, everything has been done to prove, go against it. White supremacy tried to kill the notion of black love because it was a threat to oppression. White supremacy tried to make black love an oxymoron, a figment of our imagination. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. How's the baby? It's grown. It'll stop showing more next one. <laughs> get me out of here. Please, baby. Please get me out of here. I promise, Fonny. I promise. Uh, well, I'm all right, too. Don't you worry. I'm coming home. I want you in my arms. I've got to hold our baby in our arms. Keep the faith. That's what love is. Love is not selfish or self-centered. Love can be sacrificial and in doing so becomes redemptive. And if you don't believe me, just stop, think, and imagine. Well, think and imagine a world where love is the way. And that's why I love his aching, cotton-picking hands that rubs me to freedom. His fierce voice that speaks redemption in my ear. His huckleberries kisses that makes my raspberry skin quiver. Ain't nothing you say gonna take him from me. Cause all's hearts make love when they tired of beating. Look, I know what you're saying. You're saying that God is by the balls. Look, I don't know what we're doing, but all I know is that we gotta do something. We can't let these white ass mother... We can't let them get away with this shit no longer. They've been killing us too long. Funny, listen to listen me. Listen to what? They don't give a shit about me in here. You know what's going on to me? In here? Funny, you don't believe me? No. You don't think that they can do it? No, they don't give a shit about nobody. They tried to destroy us through slavery, and, and yet black, black love persisted. persisted. Through Jim Crow, more of our families were decimated. Black mothers and fathers were taken from their homes, killed and hanged, and, and yet, yes, Black love persisted through the new Jim Crow era, the over-policing and targeting of black males through lengthy jail sentences. Black love has been tried again, and yet black love persists. I'm sorry, baby. I ain't mean none of that for you. I love you, too. I'm sorry I yelled. I ain't mean none of that. You still love me? I'll always love you, Fonny. I love you. I miss you. I miss everything about you. I miss everything we had together, everything we did together, walking and talking and making love. Baby, please, just get me out of here. I was guilty of watching them squeeze the juices out of my bittersweet huckleberry. I still see his tragedy-flavored lips whispering. Oz love is Oz's only freedom. I still hear mama saying that I ought to not love something so black. But ain't nothing you say gonna take my George away from me. Cause our hearts still make love when they tired of beating. Black love is radical. It is innovative because everything in history says it shouldn't be here. It is revolutionary. Black love is revolutionary because it shouldn't exist. And yet, it persists. persists.